And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create reels on Instagram using multiple photos. It's definitely a question I get asked a lot. I help online entrepreneurs scale their business with organic content. So we do a lot of YouTube, a lot of Instagram, a lot of TikTok. And one of the questions that I get asked regularly is, Yoka, how do I create more engaging Instagram reels? So that's what we're going to be covering in this video. And then specifically, how do you create those engaging reels simply using photos. If you're interested in learning how you can make better reels for your Instagram, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because we will be releasing a bunch more videos in the future on how to create better Instagram reels. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you two ways to create your Instagram reels. On the one hand, we'll take a look at the manual approach. And then later on in this video, we'll take a look at how you can actually create really engaging reels really fast by using Instagram templates. Before we get started, there's one thing that I prefer to do first, and I'm just going to quickly show you what that is. Now, this is something that you don't have to do. I just think that it comes in handy when we start editing our reel. So what you want to do is you want to create an album on your phone that holds all of the images that you're going to use when you create your reel. The reason that I like to do it first is especially when you're creating a reel that shows a story over a larger period of time, I want to avoid that you have to go and scroll back in your camera roll to go and find all of those images. Now, this is for iPhone users. If you have an Android phone, please let me know in the comments below how you would approach this. But what I do is I go to my photos and then I go to the albums tab. I click on the plus icon click on new album, you choose the name that you want to have for your album. I'm just going to click photo reel for this one. And then you basically go through your images and put the images that you're going to be using in your reel or potentially using in your reel in that album. And then we have everything neatly stored in one place once we start editing. So again, do you have to do this? No. Is it more practical? I believe so. Then once we're done with that, we're ready to start creating our Instagram reel. So what you're going to do is you're going to head over to Instagram and you're going to head over to your profile. And then at the top, you're going to click that little plus icon and tap real. All right. And now, as always, it's showing my face from a not so flattering angle, but here we go. So what you then want to do is you're going to click the little plus icon in the bottom left corner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my albums and I'm going to go and scroll to the photo reel album. So the fastest way to go about it, especially if you're just using images, is to simply select all of the images that you're going to want to use. I would not advise to do this if you're also using videos, but because we're now only going to be using images, there's no need to manually drag in every image separately. So instead, we're just going to select all of the images simultaneously, and then I'll show you what to do next. So what you're going to want to do is at the top right corner, you now see this little icon that looks like two squares on top of each other. You go ahead and you click that, and now it allows you to select all of the images together. So I'm just going to select them. And as you can see, it has numbers when you select them. That's sort of the order that they will be put in. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to start like this. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going at random. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, you can only select ten of them, apparently. All right, let's go with these ten doesn't really matter. All right. And so now what Instagram asks you is what audio do you want to add to this reel? And so if you already have a song that you want to use, you simply click the search button and you can either search for it or you go to your saved audios and then you select it from here. Let's go with Warrior of Oscar and the Wolf. It's a Belgian band. I'm just looking at it to see what it looks like. It's a little slow for my taste, so I might change it. I'm looking for something that's a little bit more upbeat. I'm just going to see maybe. Let's just go with this one. It's just to show you that when you select an audio clip now, Instagram will automatically sync the photos to the beat of the audio, which is comes in very handy. That way you don't have to do it yourself. And then you click next. And so now 
our photo reel is done. If you want to keep it like this, you can keep it like that. There's a couple of things that I still want to show you. So there's a way to edit your clips. Let's say that you want to make them shorter or you want to add a transition or anything like that. And the way you do that is by clicking the edit clips at the bottom. And so now you can see all of our clips have a different timestamp because they have been cut to fit the beat. Now, what if you do want to reorder the clips? Let's say you don't really like the, the transition of the photos or you want to, the order to be something different. All you'd have to do is click on reorder. And now you see them like the images, they wiggle a little bit like this. That means that you can just drag them to the position that you want them to be in. So if I now hold this clip and drag it to this position, they have now been reordered. Only thing, and I haven't really found a, a way around this, is that now the clips are no longer synced to the music the way they were before. Mm, haven't really found a way around it, except for immediately selecting the right order uh, for your clips at the start. So that's one thing. What if you say, oh, but I actually want to delete an image. I have an image in here that they're both very similar. I'm just going to delete the third one. There we go. I did that by tapping the little minus icon and then it asks, do you want to discard this clip? So we're going to, we're going to click discard. There we go. And then I'm going to say, I am done. All right. Now, what if you want to change the length of one of those clips so that it better fits the beat? You would simply select there. You click on the image and now you can see that it is 3.5 seconds. If I want to make it shorter, I simply hold it down, slide it to the left. If I want to make it longer, I slide it to the right. So let's make this shorter. I just want to do two seconds, something like this. And then you click back to all clips. And now this moves faster. Then there's one more thing that I want to show you, and that is the transition. So if I click on transition, it will give me the little plus icons in between the images. And then let's say that I want to add a transition effect between the first and the second image. I would click the plus icon. And now Instagram is showing you what the transition looks like now without an effect. And then if we select the zoom, that's what it would look like. If we select the blur, that's what it would look like. You have a warp effect to the right, a flare effect, a spin effect, or a glitch effect. And I think I like that first one the best. I'm going to go with the blur effect. And then at the bottom, you can see that it says apply to all or done. If you click apply to all, it will be added in between every photo transition. If you click done, it will only be added in between those first two images. So I'm just going to click done and done and done. And so now we have a reel that is semi done. This is not the best reel I've ever made, but it's just to show you the functionality. And then of course, if you wanted to, you could add text to it by clicking on the text icon and then you add text to it that way. You could add stickers, you could draw on it. There's a bunch more stuff that you can do, but this is the basic functionality of how you would add images to an Instagram reel relatively fast. It's been created relatively fast, auto-synced to the music, etc. So the second way to go about it is by using an Instagram pre-made template. And even here, there's actually two ways to go about it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. The first way, again, is to go to your Instagram profile and you tab that little plus icon at the top, click on Reel. And we're again in the, the Reels editor that we were in before. But instead of staying on the Reel tab and you look at it, completely at the bottom, you have a templates tab. So these are pre-made templates that Instagram allows you to use. And when I say pre-made, it's not necessarily that Instagram made them. It's that other creators on the platform have edited reels in the reels editor. And Instagram is now allowing other people to use the same music and cuts. So the, the, the timestamps to instantly create their own reels. So let's just take a look at what we have here. I think I like this one. And so when you click on use template, I'm just going to cut the music again. You can see that it says add your own clips to get started. And so what we can now do is simply go in and 
add the photos that we want. So if we again go to the album that we made, photo reel, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So we've added seven images in there. Now it's generating our reel. Let's turn the volume up a little bit. And there we go, it's basically done and it's perfectly edited to that music and it looks really, really cool. So now all we would have to do is click edit and there we go, reel is done. I would not change anything about this reel. And then maybe add some text or anything and then you click next and you can share it to your Instagram feed. So that's the first way of finding those pre-made templates by going to the reels editor and then going to the templates tab. There is another way of finding templates. It's a little bit more manual, but it comes in handy when you're scrolling on the reels feed anyway. So what you want to do is you go to Instagram and then you tap on the reels tab and you're basically going to keep swiping through them until you see one like this one. It has the use template icon above the username or above the Instagram handle. So if you click on that one, now again, we have a template that we can use and it will have those cuts and the same audio as the one that we're looking at. And so for me, sometimes when I'm swiping through my Reels feed, especially before I go to bed at night, which is a bad habit, but that's a topic for another day. Uh, when I'm doing that, what I would do is I would click on the save button. And then I would save that reel to my saved videos. And then later on, when I want to go and create a reel, I have a bunch of those templates in my saved uh, posts. So then I would just click on my profile, click on those three lines, click on the saved button, and then I will go to all posts and the reels tab. And so here are a bunch of them already that have the template icon and then you can simply drag in your images or your videos super fast and always always looks good so there you have it those are the two ways that you can edit reels on instagram using multiple photos if you are interested in learning how i edit my own reels from these mini vlogs all the way up to these more Alex Hermosi or Cody Sanchez style videos, make sure that you check out this video where I give you an in-depth walkthrough of how I edit my Instagram reels. And I'll see you next time.